What's up, Internet? Um, so here we are with Brian Lord by Enix. Or maybe they published it. I don't remember exactly. Um, if audio sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm recording audio through my HD capture program. And I think my files are corrupted, which is fantastic. Uh, anyway, come on, let's go. Oh, it's B to go through. All right. Um, so if audio sounds different, it's because I'm going through my HDMI capture, and the reason is um, all of my uh, recorded footage from my Retron 5, which I'm playing on right now, for whatever reason, keeps getting automatically corrupted. So if I can record audio through this, not only does this potentially mean I could start streaming at some point, if anyone actually cares about that, but it also means that um, I don't have to go through my uh, video editing program to put my audio and video together, which means I don't have to worry about it corrupting. Although it does mean that I have to worry about my uh, Elgato HD capture um, program doing this weird like glitch where it skips ahead three seconds every once in a while and then basically ruins all the footage ever. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, anyway, I'm doing this because I got my review done three days early this week. And I actually have all the audio and video, excluding my uh, narration, recorded and done for next week as well. So I figured, you know, I got some time. Let's, uh, let's do something extra. And I figured, you know, I haven't played Brain Lord in a while. I should play Brain Lord. Although I'm really not pleased that it doesn't seem to have any remembrance of my uh, save data. I'm really hoping my cart isn't toast, because I only got this game a few years ago, but I really quite like this game. And, uh, I guess we're gonna go play a little bit of the first dungeon, as soon as I can remember how to get out of the main town, which means I gotta get a weapon, and then I think I go visit a hut. It's been a while since I played this. Last time I played this was for the review, actually, so... Um... Good old Enix action RPGs. Just played another one for review this week. Um, I'll leave that to your surprise, because I don't like telling people, like, three months in advance what video they can expect to see. So, um, Enix RPG on the way. Or, more accurately, it's a quintet RPG, but Enix published. And it's quite a good RPG. I'm quite fond of it, so... I guess this is kind of in the same general direction of a theme, despite this video being released like three months ahead of uh, my review. Uh, put up the first two episodes of the first 30-ish minutes of this week. Did um, Secret of Mana and Rocket Robot. Love Rocket Robot, that was fun to play again. Okay, we gotta go hang out with these people who end up going to the same dungeon as us and being completely lame compared to us. If I recall, we do all the work and they like get all the loot, which, yeah, that sounds like my life, all right. <laughs> um, pretty solid game. It's got some interesting mechanics. I, I guess I should go into it, even though I've already done a review on it. You could go watch, and you should probably go watch. Oh, I forgot to start with a sword. Uh, yes. I will take one of those. It was gross. Or it was all hot sauce or something. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think we can just leave town. I remember having to do, like, a quest before that. Let's see, that's the jump button. All right, jumping! Because if you can jump anywhere, that's where you go. If you're going to Tower Lock, talk to Marlin the Blacksmith. He wants to hire someone to, if I recall, get some dragon scales, which you managed to uncover and all of your adventuring buddies steal them all. Yeah, after you fight a giant cockroach. But first, we have to clean out this lady's attic but we can steal anything she has. Which, that could be better than pay, I think. 
Boop, boop, boop. I love the swing of this sword. It just covers the screen. Boop. There, mice are gone. Scrap of paper, which I believe is a tip on where a hidden thing is, and a buckler, which is a shield. Shields have um, durability for some reason. And they're like the only thing in the game that has weapon degradation for some reason. So that's that's fun. I cleared out your attic. I don't expect pay, as you said, but if I recall, you gotta talk to this guy with the scrap of paper or something. I think. Use scrap paper is old and only a little readable. Four parts, down the staircase, first floor, that room, sealed up, fairy source. So, there's a hidden thing, and we should go look for it. And this is where the blacksmith is, I believe. I think. Nope. I remember the blacksmith being on this side of the house. House. This side of the village. Thank you, brain. House and village. They are totally the exact same thing. Uh, oh, this is the blacksmith. Yes, I'm going. There was a dragon. There isn't any more. Who wants to bet he's not going to pay that much to you when you bring him some dragon scales? Because all your traveling companions stole all of them and he gives you like 2,000 gold for every bit you give him. Which is like one. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I honestly hadn't ever heard of this game prior to my receiving it. I love that cloud effect, and the music to this area is really cool. Although the enemy screaming could, uh, I could do without. But uh, overall, this game's pretty stylish. It, it has some fun uh, partner AI mechanics. Although it's weird because the game focuses mainly on using them, which I don't have any right now, of course. But they take it away the moment you, um... The moment you get to a, uh... A boss. Now there's your first companion here, I think? Also, I think I said this in my review, but you can get your best one from buying it. You can't find it, but you can get two of them and they will clear out all the rooms for you except the bosses. So they're totally worth getting and like grinding up and stuff. Heart, which is a permanent stat increase I believe, and a Jade. Our fairy will name A, because A is the name of fairies. Then we use this, which gives us a free health increase. And then we'll go use our Jade, which will give us our partner. Which I want to say... Oh, shoots fireballs. So this is our little partner guy. It's a little Efreets Salamando or whatever. Basically, it's the obligatory fire teammate. But there's one that physically attacks enemies and just chases everything down and basically just destroys... I think it costs something like... Uh, 20 or 30,000, so you gotta grind a little bit to get them, but it's totally worth it. And uh, these little guys, they have their own experience, because you don't actually have experience. All of your abilities are based on um, acquiring new items and better armor and weapons and stuff. But these guys run on experience that uh, ends up uh, sort of leveling them up and evolving them. Not unlike, say, Pokemon. But I can't think of too many games that came out before this that sort of had an aspect like that. And this is a really solid game. I'm, I'm quite a fan of Brain Lord, despite the fact that I can't say I heard of it until I got a copy. I want... Ah, yay. Oh wait, can I use that? Yes, I can. I will eat the apple. And continue on my adventuring. I do like that I don't have to like manage my shield, it just shields on its own, which is good. 
So I think uh, having to physically manage your shield is a bit finicky. That said, I, I, I'm i gonna say something completely contradictory, which is I kind of think I prefer being able to be in control of my own defense. So like in stuff like um, A Link to the Past, you had to stand in front of arrows like head on or you died. And that sucked. There's our friend, what's her name? Yes, it's a safe statue. Let's see, Dragon Garden Tower of Light, Brings Doom Fearful, shame there isn't any. I will just go on murdering you skulls. Woohoo! Dungeon crawling. Going on an adventure with my little fireball friend. I will say, and I'm sure I mentioned this in my review as well, but while I love this game, the dungeons are super, super long, and they could have basically had less dungeons, or had more dungeons that were slightly shorter, and it would probably have been paced a bit better. Because you spend a good couple hours in each dungeon. But I think this is still a fairly solid game, despite that. Goblin Control Lightning, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I booped him with my magic booping sword. Why wasn't he booped? Boop. I wonder where that hidden uh, place is. I, I think you have to, like, drop down from, like, an upper layer staircase or something. I think? I vaguely remember. The puzzle in the room below, if you make a mistake, you can leave the room and start again. Okay. Move! Uh. No, I don't think it's small. Now go away! Uh, fantastic music, but stupid, stupid PCs. Okay, we got a rock. And we've got a button. Puzzle this one together, folks. And I almost did it wrong. That would have been completely embarrassing. Push. 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 You know, little fire guy, I know your whole deal is you shoot fireballs, but you could help push. I'm just saying. Uh. So next week's review. It's gonna be an N64 game I can't say I've ever heard anyone talk about, and yet I saw a remake of it on Steam a little while ago. So, I was either gonna like make a uh, 30 minutes of, or I was gonna review it, so I just decided to review it. Why not? That's, uh, I don't, we don't need to save. We're not gonna be killed like some poncy noob adventurer. Besides, we've got our fireball friend with us. Okay, let's check this door. There's mice! How you doing? I think she's in a good place. If I didn't want that treasure, I'd leave you. I don't care if you are the cute one. <laughs> I have the magic shot spell, you can have it. So why didn't you just take it and sell it, or take it and hand it to someone else? Why would you put it back? You are the worst treasure hunter, Ferris. Ah, wrong button. Magic shot. Okay. Okay, it's down there. So how do I utilize it? That's, oh, that's the active shield button. Okay. Jump, that. Oh, it's charged. Okay. It has been a while since I've played this. That's my excuse. What's yours? That was creepy. Anyway. Running away from creepy eyeball walls now. And skeletons. Ah. Uh. Okay, these things you can roll in one direction, and there's a rock. 
again, figure it out. Not a super hard puzzle, mind you, but... If I recall, um... If you leave a room, even if you've solved the puzzle, the uh, puzzle is gone. So... You basically have to redo it. So if a puzzle has like two rooms that it unlocks, you have to do it twice, which... Not the most fun. Now if I recall, if you hit these things while they're lightninging, it doesn't end well. So hit them with a ranged attack. I think. Yep, there we go. And A leveled up. And we got a heart. And we got a reviving mirror, which... I'll let you figure out what it does. But we'll use the heart and gain another health point. And we'll have a sip from the healing spring. Which, if I recall, there is one in here that is actually poisoned. So this game does like to shake things up a little bit. What's your deal? I don't want to take a break. I'm literally playing this game to take a break. Which is ironically just doing more work for me. Still, I guess if your work is your, you know, the thing you're most passionate about, it's not a bad thing. Jump. I will push that one down this time for some variety, and then push that one over. And then we will go into this door, because I guess it was always unlocked, and I'm just majorly clueless. Okay. So these tiles, classic adventure. The tiles actually look slightly different. They've got like that big square. So that one in front of me is going to be trapped, as it's the three in front of it. And those two, and the one in front of me, and the one to my left. This game is very clever in its uh, dungeoneering. I got an apple. And more creepy eyeball walls. I don't care for eyeball walls. More experience for- ah. Jump. Jump. What do we got here? Only the cautious and clever should proceed. I'm thinking that means fall. It didn't mean fall, so... Good thing we know now. I know there's one of these rooms where you gotta, like, fall to, uh, unlock the, uh, hidden bits. Go over here. This game does not do angular jumps well. He said, proceeding to do an angular jump. I don't care much for the whole, uh, B confirm, A deny thing. I've always had issues with that. And I think that's purely a Japanese thing, because if you play, like, Japanese PS1 games, they're all like that, where always, like, uh, accept and X is deny, and it's just weird. Oh, crap, that's right. Jump! <laughs> uh, and there's no run button or anything, so you can't extend your jump or anything. Let's go over here, and we'll try this again and regret that I ever made this decision. Jump! Okay, I think we got this. Now if I recall, there's that guy. Yeah. I don't know what that did. Let's check. Warp gate, travel instantly to any place you've been. And there should have been a space in there, but wasn't. Because let's misspell things, or using correct punctuation rather. At least hyphenated, damn it. Jump. Um, this is not ideal. But I'm still alive. Gonna have to play a little cautiously, I guess. I got a bow. Except bows are kind of crap in this game, if I recall. Attack power too, that's still an increase though. Woo! Woo! Haha! <laughs> that sound until I find a healing fountain. So, sorry. I hope the audio to this turns out well. Oh crap. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. 
I had a reviving mirror. I see. I think you had to manually hold it. Oh, and I lost half my health because, or half my money because, of course, I did. Because Brian Lord. I'm good at games, I swear. <laughs> Especially action RPGs, it's kind of my genre. And adventure games. Those are kind of my go-tos, but... I really like this game, damn it. <laughs> Run away. I knew I should have used that uh, save uh, statue. But you suggested I didn't. I blame you. This is all on you. It's not on me. It's you and your peer pressure too. Oh, you're awesome. You're not going to need to use a save point ever. <laughs> and now I'm broke. Just like real life. Uh, I don't play video games to emulate my actual life. That's no fun. Uh, give me some health apples, please. I do like that it has sort of like an actual adventure feel with like traps coming out of nowhere and you sort of have to be on the ball though. I mean sure it's kind of dickish but it feels like an actual proper adventure and for that I kind of appreciate it. And now I'm already dead. Thank you skeletons. Okay. That kills skeletons. Good news, we learned something. Pew! <laughs> Eat my little magical faffing laser blast. Faffing laser blast! <sighs> Stupid fireball. I have lasers! I'm very clearly the best hero. I don't care if that other lady already said she had. I was just gonna leave it in the chest for whatever bizarre reason. Uh, I gotta do this puzzle again, don't I? Yep. Okay, that's an issue with Brain Lord, though. You keep the spoils, but you have to, uh, go back and do stuff. So always save is a good rule of thumb. Push, push, push. Jump, jump, jump. Slide, slide. Ugh, Mega Man 8 flashbacks again. What game did I play recently that had a Mega Man 8, like, reference in it? That literally referenced that. Oh, it's gonna bug me forever now. But I know I played a game that had a uh, jump, jump, slide, slide reference. Oh, that's not good. But I do have health, or I've got uh, the magical statue of longevity. So you can continue to watch me suck at yet another thing. Yes, yes, my journey awaits. And I've got lasers. And I've got an apple this time. And maybe I will level up so he can actually kill some stuff. Although he'll never, ever be as good as the uh, other, other uh, fairy friend you get that ha just physically mullers everything. Like seriously, you get Brain Lord, just grind until you get like the physical damaging uh, Rage Fairy and just get two of them, level them completely, just go south of the first town, that's like the best grinding spot, and you basically got the entire game handed to you. And you just have to sit back and enjoy. <laughs> so those things just wreck shop, they are fantastic. I don't need to do this. I remember this game. Oh, although I could use the uh, healing potion, which I think was behind this door. <sighs> Screw it. I've got an apple. Eat a laser wall. I'm taking my frustration out on you. Right? I remember. <laughs> no, I don't. But I have an eye for observation in small details. Not the big ones, mind you. That's no joke. When I was a kid, uh, I went to a babysitter every day for like, well, about six years. 
And uh, we passed this one place next to a school. And until like the last day of those six years, all I saw was an empty field next to that school. There was like three buildings and I just never noticed them. But I noticed the like most minute details. I don't know, my brain and how I notice stuff is weird. And how I remember stuff. Like I remember the layouts to every Mega Man level ever. And like all the Mega Man like uh, boss weaknesses and stuff. But I do not remember people's names or faces to save my life. Okay, one of these rooms has a series of giant gold balls that just wreck. So we're going to... That's not the room, that's the room with the bow. It's gotta be this room then. So we're gonna take this slowly... And... Take a lot of damage. Whoa! Key to the seal. Okay. Now if I recall, there's like three doors with locks and it opens one of them. Oh god, that's going to be a problem. Unless I do this. Because if I didn't, both of those balls would have just demolished. Sorry, um, I, I was just making sure my Elgato wasn't doing that weird thing where it stops for a few seconds for no reason. Now if I recall... Yeah! Haha! <laughs> I remember things. Maybe not your name or face, but I remember things. Now if I recall, there's actually some like one-of-a-kind gear in this room. Magic Wallet, I believe that's exclusive to this room. I think he mushrooms other places, they're like better healing items, but the magic wallet, if I recall, it like doubles the money you gain, and uh, when you die, it uh, you don't lose the money in the magic wallet. So that's, uh, I think. So pro tip from me, push that wall and you get to a secret area. No, you can't push that wall. And I got a warp gate. And I got a heart. Which is good, because that's a thing I don't have. And I need more. That joke was better in my head. I'm sorry. I've been watching a lot of uh, footage for action RPGs lately. Like, I've been watching speedruns of Crystalis a lot, and it's kind of weird. It's like, well, why don't I just play Crystalis? I have it. It's literally my favorite NES game. And it's a game everyone with an NES absolutely should play. But I've been watching lots of that. I've also been watching lots of footage of a Lagoon, which is like the complete opposite end of the spectrum from Crystalis, but still. I kind of want to play it just because it looks terrible. Like, the first guy you meet in the game, like, uh... Like most games, there's someone you talk to who outfits you with stuff to begin with, and... I remember reading this from the uh, speedrun, but the uh, dialogue literally says, Here, quick, put this gear on, and he just hands you money. <laughs> ah. And more fantastically, like, in order to get uh, health items, you go to a weapon shop that has an armor symbol above it. So that's... Uh, that's a pretty quality game. I think I'm gonna have to try and acquire a copy of Lagoon. Because that, that looks both awful and like a game I need to absolutely play for review. There we go. And now we get to go through this magical door of magical doorness. Oh god, platforming. Platforming was not this game's greatest strength. I'm glad I can just jump on it to make it go again, though. Okay, you don't want to go down, if I recall. Go up and to the right. And we get chain mail. So finally we get some more armor. Plus two to my already plus one. So plus three in total. Because that's just math. And you know, math is important. It's not something I excel at by any means, but it's important all the same. 
Actually, there was something else in that room. We should go back and get it, I guess, if I have to. Uh, I think it's this one. And then I go down is not where I need to go. I go here. And I go here. No, I guess that is just a wall. I was sure there was a, um... I was sure there was just a, uh, another platform over there, but I guess there isn't. Oh, well. Exploring the Tower of Light, or whatever. The Tower of Duraga. I played that game. That game is very, very samey. Depending on, on the NES, most arcade games are. I mean, the original Bomberman was very much like that. Oh, crap. You know, it's easy to notice that stuff, but it's hard to when you're getting attacked. Ugh. I'm getting older. I'm not happy about that. Oh, my birthday's a few weeks away. A drop of protect. Now, if I recall, this is a potion that permanently raises your defense. I think. That sounds right. But again, it did seem like they were truncating a translation there or something. Oh. And I like that, uh, let, let's just go back and witness the majesty of that for a sec. The magic wallet, which just happens to, uh, oh, it doesn't double your money, but it, uh, it, uh, collects money as you walk, which is pretty useful. Yeah, see, this is a lot harder to notice while there's things attacking you. Oh, way to go, A. Rock on. And we're going to very carefully not get completely mullered by spikes. I think that's all of them. Got it. Alright, moving forward, moving forward. And an inscription. Almost nearly get killed, but I noticed it. Okay, remember this. Don't attack the stone statue. As much as you might want to, and as much as you might plague me to, don't do it. Okay. Oh my god, you stupid little... Fine, whatever. Third floor key. Also, hidden room. That I also remembered. But I don't think there's anything particularly, um, one of a kind down here like there was in that one other room. Oh, this is, uh, this is just a shortcut. I think this is just a shortcut. Maybe? Uh, okay, that looked like a hallway we were previously in. Oh, we got cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, source of power increases damage. Awesome. No actual levels in this game. I kind of like that. But I like that there's still kind of a leveling system with your, uh, with your, uh, fairies. Alright, this room's clear. Let's move back and see what other riches are in this tower. That won't get stolen when I kill the boss because my traveling companions are complete and total. Massive, massive gaping orifices. Because... There's no honor among thieves, or adventurers, or whatever. This is the way we came, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Did we just... Okay, that's weird. That was a little bit obtuse design. It felt like that was looping back and wasn't. And now I've got uh, hiccups, which is great. Oh, new fairy. Okay, we'll call her this one Ab. Abt. Okay. Yes, Abt. And you can summon two jades at once, so we'll do that. Raises defense. And it looks like some kind of weird knight golem alien thing. Tame the fairy, and we'll become a powerful partner. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a passive buff, but okay. Useful passive buff. But, once again, I don't think you're going to top the, uh, physical attacking Jade. 
that you have to spend a ridiculous amount of money on, but you can buy multiple ones of, so you can have two of them and they just clear rooms for you. You can just sit in the corner and let them do the work. And I indeed have, and I'm completely proud of it because I came up with the strategy. <laughs> All right, because don't attack the statue, but you're gonna attack the statue. Can't you talk to a magical statue fairy? Aren't you like relatives or something? Okay, now we gotta backtrack to um, use the key we picked up. That's a spike. That's a spike. <laughs> I tried to walk around but couldn't. I'm just gonna try and speed through this as quick as I possibly can. Jump, jump. Yeah, I don't care much for that sound effect. That, that I could do without, but beside that, uh, pretty solid dungeon crawling action RPG. Whoop! Jump. Although the platforming is also not great. Jump. Whoa! -ho -ho, slow down. We have to handle four sprites at once. We've hit the sprite limit. Okay, do I have to actually use the item? Yes, I do. Because finickiness. Which looks like a generic house key as opposed to the other keys. Yay! Oh god, it's one of these puzzles. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. Uh... Okay, I got this. I think. I don't think I've got this. <laughs> uh, damn. Block pushy bastard puzzles. Why do you have to constantly taunt me with Pushing blocks. Actually, what I should do. Let's move this one over here. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. This one here, push that one down. Okay. Then, what do I do? Crap. Well, I'd say we're done here. <laughs> um, this has been an effective test of whether or not I can actually utilize my video recording equipment to record audio, possibly for streaming in the future. Very clearly, I can't do basic puzzles because reasons of I'm inept. Um, I'll see you next time.